Hello children, let's do sets exercise 60, questions 6 to 9. This is found on page number 62. State if the given pairs of sets are equal sets or equivalent sets. So we are going to continue to do types of sets. Equal sets are two sets in which the elements are the same. Equivalent sets are two sets in which the number of elements are the same. Question 1. Natural numbers less than 5 and letters of the word both. These are the two sets. We have to see if these two sets are called equal sets or equivalent sets. So let's write down in roster form the elements of the first set natural numbers less than 5 and the elements of the second set letters of the word both. So we get this 1, 2, 3 and 4 is the first set. B, O, A, T is the second set. And as you can see the elements are not the same but the number of elements is the same. There are four elements here and there are four elements here. So such a set in which the elements are the same, the number of elements are the same, are called equivalent sets. So only the number is the same, the elements are not the same. So since the number is the same, we call them equivalent sets. Second question. The first set is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. And in the second set we have even natural numbers less than 12. What are these even natural numbers less than 12? They are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Now look at the first set and the second set. Can you see that the elements are the same? Such, a, such sets are called equal sets. If the elements are the same, they are called equal sets. Now if you count the number of elements, the first set has five elements and the second set also has five elements so they can also be called equivalent sets third one the first set has these elements one three five seven and so on and the second set is a set of odd natural numbers what are odd natural numbers odd natural numbers are one three five seven and so on look at the first set and the second set they have the same elements, so these are also equal sets. Next one. Letters of the word member is the first set and letters of the word remember belong to the second set. So let's write out the letters in the roster form for both the sets. So the first set we get M, E, B, R because we have not repeated the letters according to the rule. And second set from the word remember we got R E M B. Now let's look at the letters and see if it's the same. I have M here and M on the right side, E on the left and E on the right, B on the left and B on the right and R on both sides. That means they have the same elements. So these sets are called equal sets. So let's write that down. They are called equal sets. Next question. Negative natural numbers and 50th day of a month. Now these are the two sets. Now look at the first set. Do we have negative natural numbers? All natural numbers are positive and they start from 1. So the first set is an empty set. Now second set. 50th day of a month. Do we have a 50th day of a single month? No. So that is also an empty set. So both these are empty sets. So they are equal. We call them equal sets. Sixth one. Even natural numbers. And the second set is odd natural numbers. Let's write it down. Even natural numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. Odd natural numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. So if you look at these, you can see that the members are not the same. But the number of elements in both the sets will be the same. So such sets are called equivalent sets. Equivalent 
sets. Question 7. State whether the following are finite or infinite sets. Finite sets are those sets in which the number of elements can be counted. Whereas infinite sets are those sets where you cannot count because there are a countless number of elements. Question 1. Starting with 2 and ending with 800, this set has a limited number of elements. So it is called a finite set. This is a finite set. Second one. The dots indicate that the numbers are continuing in this direction. That means there is an unlimited number of elements here. So this is an infinite set. Third one. This is given in the set builder form. So let me read it out. X is such that X is an integer between minus 60 and 60. So let's write down all the integers between minus 60 and 60. So it goes on like this. You have the dots in the middle saying that there are many more numbers, but we have a starting number and an ending number. So this is a finite set. You can count the number of elements. It's a finite set. Fourth one, number of electrical appliances working in your house. Now we can count the number of appliances that work in our house, isn't it? So this is a finite set. Question five is again in the set builder form. X is such that X is a whole number greater than 20. So let's write in the roster form. Numbers greater than 20, 21, 22, it goes on. So this is an infinite set because the number of ele elements is countless. Infinite set. Next one. X is such that X is a whole number less than 20. Okay. So these are all the whole numbers less than 20. 0, 1, 2 and up to 19. The dots indicate that there are numbers in between. So we can count. So this is a finite set. Question 8. For each statement given below, we need to write whether it's true or false. This is the first set. Now the set with dots show that there are many numbers going on and the statement says that this is a finite set. No, this is an infinite set, isn't it? So this statement is false. Second one. Now we know the starting numbers minus 32. Dots in between say that there are more numbers. And we know the last number 16. But the statement says that this is an infinite set. It is false because this is a finite set. So this statement is false. Question 3 is in the set builder form. Let's read it. X is such that X is a natural number less than 1. Do we have any natural numbers less than 1? We don't have. So the statement says that this is an empty set, which is true because we don't have natural numbers less than 1. So that statement is true. Question 4 says whole numbers between 15 and 16 is equal to natural numbers between 5 and 6. What are the whole numbers between 15 and 16? Nothing. It's empty. And what are the natural numbers between 5 and 6? Again, nothing. It's empty. So is this equal? Yes. So this statement is true. Question 5. Odd numbers divisible by 2. Now, are any of the odd numbers divisible by 2? 1, 3, 5, 7? No. So, what will we get in the set? Nothing. So, the statement says, odd numbers divisible by 2 is the empty set, which is true. Question 6. 
even natural numbers divisible by 3 is an empty set is a statement. Now, what are the even natural numbers? Now, these are all even natural numbers. 3, 6, 9, they're all divisible by 3. These are all the numbers divisible by 3. In this, what are the even natural numbers? 6 is an even natural number. 12 is an even natural number. But the statement is saying it is an empty set, which is wrong because there are many elements. 6 and 12 are two elements. So this statement is false. Seventh one, x is such that x is positive and x is less than zero. Now, numbers that are less than zero, are they positive? No, they are negative. So this is empty. And the statement also says that is the empty set. So that means that statement is true. Question eight, the dots indicate that there are many numbers this side. And this side also we have dots, many numbers this side. That means it's an infinite set. But the statement says it's a finite set. So this statement is false. Question 9. Now state giving reasons which of the following pairs of sets are disjoint sets and which are overlapping. So this is another type of sets. Okay. Disjoint sets and overlapping. Disjoint sets are two sets in which none of the elements are common. So one set will have one set of elements. The second set will have an entirely different set of elements. Nothing is common. Whereas overlapping sets are two sets in which at least one element will be common to both the sets. So let's see. So we have question 1, A and in set A, they are talking about girls with ages below 15. Okay. And set B with girls with ages above 15 years. Now, what kind of sets are these? Girls with ages above 15 and girls with ages below 15 are completely two different sets. You will not have any girl with age below 15 as well as above 15, isn't it? So, there's nothing in common. So, th these two sets are disjoint sets. And what is the reason? A girl cannot be 15 years, below 15 years and above 15 years also at the same time. So such sets are called disjoint. Nothing is common there. Second one, boys with ages above 20 years and set D, boys with ages above 27 years. Okay, now these two sets can be overlapping because Boys with ages above 20 years in set C, those boys can be 27 years also, isn't it? Some of them can be about 27 years. So we will have some boys common to both the sets. So these are called overlapping sets. And the reason is boys who are above 20 years can also be boys above 27 years. Question 3. Natural numbers between 35 and 60. So let's write it down, 36 up to 59. Natural numbers between 50 and 80. So that will be 51 onwards up to 79. Now what kind of sets are these? Are they disjoint or are they overlapping? Can you see all these numbers in red? Now it's there in the first set and it's there in the second set also. That means they are overlapping sets. Okay, so 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, let's write, and 59. Similarly here, we have all these numbers that are overlapping. So such sets are called overlapping sets. And the reason is these are natural numbers from 59 to 51 to 59 in both the sets. So these are overlapping sets. Question 4. Students of class 9 studying in the ICSC board is one set and students of class 9 is another set. Now these are overlapping sets because students of class 9 studying in the ICSC board 
are common to both the sets. Okay. So these are overlapping sets. Next one, natural numbers that are multiples of 3 and less than 30. What are those? These are all natural numbers that are multiples of 3. Okay, starting from 3 onwards and less than 30. So we stopped at 27. Then we have natural numbers divisible by 4 and lying between 20 and 45. So these are the numbers that are divisible by 4 and lying between 20 and 45. Now, can you see the number 24 is common to both the sets? So, that number is there in the first set as well as in the second step set. So, they are called overlapping sets because the natural number 24 is common to both the sets. The last one. Letters in the word Allahabad are A, L, H, B and D. Letters in the word Nainital are N, A, I, T and L. And these are overlapping sets because the letters A and L, can you see, are common to both the sets. So when there are elements that are common to both the sets, they are called overlapping sets. When there is nothing in common, they are called disjoint sets. So children, with that we come to the end of exercise 6D. In our next video, we will do sets exercise 6E. Thank you children.